It's like football without pads. So all the risks you have playing football is pretty much the same. I'm your host, Michelle Lombardo, and I'm all about spectator sports, especially if they involve shirtless guys tackling each other on the grass. But you know, it's just me. Anyways, this next sport comes from South Asia and it's thousands of years old, but it's still pretty popular with a young generation of Punjabi Americans who are keeping the tradition alive and well in Northern California. So here it is, the very competitive and sometimes painful sport known as Kabaddi. Sorry, I very young Mata Pena, Vivian Bainti, Haki, Apne, Vijayan, Apne, Vijayan, they can lay a couple of water. What's up? How are you guys doing? My name is Sonny Candola. Today we're here in Fairfield for a Kabaddi tournament. It's played all over India, but uh, Punjab is where it's more popular. And it's been going on there for, you know, hundreds of years. We're in Fairfield, California. We're playing in a, a temple, our own temple, playing the grasses. Here today, it brings people together where they haven't met for a long time. That's the reason why Kabaddi is like, gets people together, let's have people fun, and gets people reunited with their old friends or family members. My name is Sundar Twal. When I come in this country, I start this tournament. When I starting only two clubs, and now I at least have a 25 club. In the sport, but there's two teams pretty much that play each other. A raider goes from one team to touch the other four stoppers on that team. So it's pretty much it's like capture the flag, but you're touching somebody, and the radar has to touch somebody and go back in 30 seconds. As for a stopper, your objective is to stop them. And if you stop them in 30 seconds, you get your point. We're just like wrestling, grappling, and tag mixing all together. You got jukes like football, you get together, you got your jukes and stuff. There's different people that are built in this game. Some people are built skinny and small, but they're fast. Some people like me are big and huge. Comes down to technique, speed, and how you are, what mental focus you're in. Well, my mentality is like when I play, I don't think. I just do, because it's better reacting than just playing. Because I could be like, I'm going to go like this, go like that. And then pretty soon I'll just be thinking about it instead of doing it. My pops is our coach. And it's kind of interesting, too, because it's fun to see, because he was an old player, and he's actually helped us out a lot. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be as good as we are today. I'm a center club coach, but eight years. Like those guys born in America, I show him how to play the Kabaddi. And those guys grow up right now, and they're going better and better. It's kind of fun playing with my brother, because now he's more like of a teammate now, instead of just like an older brother I look up to. Pretty much, my ultimate goal is to go pro in Canada. That's international level. They get pretty much bank. Like in Canada, right? You be making about twenty to about fifty thousand a couple months. When we play, they don't pay nothing. Right now, they pay the money. It's not about money to me, right? But you know, it's cool to get paid a little bit. But if I tell you once, I'm gonna play for your team. I'm gonna play for your team. Even if you pay me a dollar, I'll still play for you no matter what. I give you my word. Like Tony Montana says, I got my word in my balls. Nothing else. I can't break them for nobody. It's not about getting paid, it's about being known as a world-class player. Like, it's like, for example, like making the NBA, that's how, how well you'd be known. In this sport, right, in the Indian culture, right, you get famous like MJ, like, Yuba City has one player, right, named Thith. He goes to India sometimes, he goes play there, he goes to Vancouver, Toronto. He's been playing since when he was Indian, like, in India when he was a little kid. I call him the X Factor of the Yuba City team. Thith is the best glory stopper right there. 
he's like a, a professional and half a coach. He's all mixing together. He'll train you what to do, what not to do, and make you make you better. This game is a hurtful game. People don't think that it's like, oh, it's, it's a little slap in here, there and that. No, it's not. You get hurt. I know people, Raiders, who broke their leg off a move. It's like football without pads. So all the risks you have playing football is pretty much the same thing. It's part of the game, pain, no game. Kabaddi, it's more like a religious sport. That's why I'm into it. Like, I don't have a turban and everything, but as playing Kabaddi, it's like it's getting back into the religious scene now. So, like, show like my own culture off and everything like that. When we pray, right, we cover our head because we we are Sikhs. That's the reason why we're paying respect to God again. The guys that are fully Sikh, uh, Sikh, they got the turbans, they got the beard, they got the kara. We don't have that, right? But we are Sikh still. You're praying for basic things, and you're also praying at the end, make sure nobody gets hurt, you know. You're not really necessarily praying to win or anything. It's just mainly, you know, look after us type of thing like that. When he do like, act like this, that mean he, he ask uh, strength from ground, he ask strength from sun. That's what he do. At the end, it's all about pride and respect. It's not about the money. You, you get paid, but what your body goes through is it's not even worth getting paid that much. The reason why I play Gawardi, right, is because of my respect, my family, my family name. It's, I'm trying to get my family name all around the world. I want to look at her name go on top. We have family pride, and everybody we know us, that if we go somewhere, they know that's the Gawardi player. Actually, they know you. Thank you for watching this part of Stunts and Chaos. To see more of the show, go to current.com slash chaos.